A very good afternoon to all distinguished members and by Palmon Conference uh, participants. First of all, I would like to thank the Satra Program Coordinator to give an opportunity to the Malaysian Palm Oil Board and POB as one of the participating organizations under Satra Program to present our research findings on the cellulose from oil palm trunk and its conversion to carboxymethyl cellulose or known as CMC. The other team member for this project, uh, Dr. Noor Ilianti, she's the corresponding author for this paper, uh, Dr. Astima Abdul Aziz and uh, Dr. Fazliana Abdul Hamid. The presentation outline is consists of introduction uh, that I will touch on the all palm trunk availability in 2020 and the potential application of CMC followed by the objective of the study as well as the expected benefit that we will gain from the study and as for the methodology i will explain uh, on the step involved in the cmc production from opt then the result and discussion uh, i will be focused on the characteristic of opt based cmc opt-in and last but not least the conclusion as for the introduction uh, basically, oil palm trunk is a byproduct derived from the oil palm plantation, periodically available in the field during replanting every 20 to 25 years, often left in the field to decompose due to underutilization, which uh, eventually leads to environmental issues. The remaining cheap uh, OPT that live in the field uh, becomes a breeding ground for pests and as a source uh, of infection in the field and spread the pathogen which will be affected to the younger palms. Uh, apart from that, uh, old OPT, for example, uh, 25 to 30 years old OPT contain higher offset that also can be a source of sugars such as glucose, sucrose, fructose and galactose which can become the food source for pests. Generally, uh, OPT is the most uh, abundant biomass produced and represents approximately uh, of 8.42% uh, from plantation and processing mills. In 2020, a total of 160,070 hectares of replanting area generated about 21.77 million OPT logs resulting in 11.92 million tons of OPT. Previous study had reported that 50% uh, of OPT was applied at plantation for maintenance of soil nutri nutrient, uh, meaning that uh, based on this study, nearly 5.96 million tons of OPT were accessible and potentially to be converted into value-added product in which may create additional revenue for the country. OPT is an organic compound that comprises of lignocellulosic materials uh, such as cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, and ash, which cellulose is a dominant component in OPT, which is suitable as raw material in carboxymethyl cellulose production. And among all modified cellulose derivatives, CMC has been produced in large amount due to its wide commercial application. Carboxymethyl cellulose CMC, is a versatile polymer derived from cellulose. Due to its high water soluble properties, CMC is uh, widely used in the food and non food industries such as food and beverages, pharmaceutical, detergent, drugs, cosmetics textile and paper industry, as well as in oil drilling operation. A large quantity of uh, CMC are produced in crude commercial uh, grades without any further refining, used as a component in detergent, cloth, pesticide, adhesive, ceramic, lubricant, oil drilling mud, cement, and in the paper and coating industries. Only high purity grade CMC will be used uh, for human consumption in the food and pharmaceutical industry. Okay. There are two objectives of this study. The first one is to produce a carboxymethyl cellulose CMC from cellulose extracted via STM method and chlorine-free extraction method. And the other objective is to characterize the CMC based on uh, its purity and viscosity to infer about the validity and effectiveness of the cellulose extraction method adopted. 
Then the expected benefit uh, from this study is to utilize all palm trunk for higher value added product. Because at present, most of OPT collected during replanting all palm trees are left in heaps on uh, plantation areas for natural decomposition or uh, directly burned. Such disposal methods are not only less environmental uh, friendly but also highlight the underutilization of OPT biomass for higher value application considering the presence of significant composition of lignocellulosic materials in them. This pump BCMC has huge potential to meet the future demand in green chemicals since it is being produced from a renewable resource and it uh, does uh, sustainable. This slide shows uh, the steps involved in the production of uh, CMC from OBT. Uh, the physical pretreatment on the OBT was conducted prior to silicon extraction. Uh, the chip OBT with a size of about uh, 6 inch was subjected to sniper press to reduce the size of a uh, chip OBT to of about 10 cm fiber followed by drying process. Uh, next, the OPT fiber is subjected uh, to hair mill with the size of the final product ranging from uh, 3 mm to 6 mm and the moisture content of less than uh, 10%. Uh, okay. Then, cellulose was extracted from OPT fiber using two different methods, which is a chlorine free method and STM method. And as for the chlorine uh, free method, uh, the OPT fiber was predicted with sodium hydroxide followed by the treatment with uh, formic acid and hydrogen peroxide as low concentration of bleaching agent at 85 degrees Celsius. Whereas in the STM method, uh, the OPT fiber was first converted into a hollow cellulose through a series of treatment with acetic acid and sodium chloride and then further isolate into a cellulose with sodium hydroxide. The OPT cellulose was then further synthesized into CMC via alkalization and etherification process of acerated cellulose using sodium hydroxide and monochloroacetic acid. Under alkaline condition, uh, cellulose structure shows uh, the high accessibility and activity to chemicals and the hydroxyl group of cellulose are replaced by carboxyl methyl uh, group in the order of C2, C6 and C3. This figure shows the physical appearance of extracted cellulose as well as CMC obtained from the Bose extraction method. Uh, the figure in the red uh, circle indicated the CMC synthesized from the OPT derived cellulose that extracted via chlorine free extraction method. It can be seen that the cellulose obtained has a yellowish color, uh, indicated that the uh, traces of impurity is still uh, present in this product whereas the figure in the blue circle is the cellulose extracted via STM method and the CMC synthesized from the STM cellulose. Uh, cellulose fiber were obtained in a white color and have texture like cotton. The cellulose and CMC uh, produced were analyzed by uh, FDIR spectroscopy Figure on the top left side uh, shows an overlay spectra of cellulose from OPT and commercial cellulose, which was used uh, as a standard. The FDR spectra studies confirm the absence of hemicellulose, lignin, and wax in the cellulose extracted from OPT fibers. Uh, it also can be seen that the uh, FDIR analysis showed that the uh, OPT based cellulose was identical to that of standard cellulose, suggesting uh, the presence of similar backbone and functional groups in both samples, thus confirming that the product was cellulose. Figure on the bottom right slide shows uh, an overlay one of the CMC produced uh, with cellulose from OPT. As can be seen in the CMC spectra that highlighted in a red line, the existing or new, um, the existing of new and strong band at uh, 1060 wave number is uh, due to carboxymethyl group stretching, thus confirming the product was CMC. 
as for the result and the discussion, uh, the first uh, table shows the cellulose here by both extraction method, in which method one referring to a chlorine free method and method two is the STM method. The range of cellulose yield between these uh, two methods is not much uh, different. As for method one, the cellulose yield was recorded uh, ranging from 36 to 39 percent, whilst the STM method yielded about uh, 39 percent. However, the appearance of the cellulose extracted uh, by chlorine free method is quite yellowy as compared to the cellulose extracted by the STM method, in which it is white in color. Whilst uh, the second table uh, shows the comparison of CMC synthesized from cellulose that was extracted by chlorine free method and STM method, and as we can see, the yield of uh, CMC is quite similar for both uh, cellulose extraction method. The physical appearance also similar, which is yellowish in color. Uh, the purity is also not much different and more than 95% uh, purity of CMC for both of those methods was achieved. The significant difference is obviously can be seen for viscosity in which uh, the CMC derived from standard method cellulose. The viscosity is much more higher than the viscosity of CMC that derived from the chlorine-free cellulose. The CMC synthesized from uh, chlorine-free uh, method uh, cellulose has low viscosity of less than uh, 300 centipoids, whilst the OBT CMC derived from the cellulose extracted by the standard method has higher viscosity, uh, which is in the range of uh, 2,300 to 2,700 centipoids. Purity is one of the important criteria to determine the grade of uh, CMC. Purity refers uh, to the percentage of pure carboxy metal cellulose sodium salt in oven dry products. There are four types of grades of CMC as stated in the table. They are graded into high purity, mainly purified, semi purified, and technical grade, which are categorized by their purity percentage. CMC must be purified to a level of 99.5% for the human consumption and can be used in the food and pharmaceutical industry and also incorporated into personal care. Uh, based on uh, purity obtained that showed in the previous slide, uh, the CMC is synthesized from cellulose chlorine free method have higher priority of 98.64 uh, uh, and 99% and can be categorized as mainly purified and it is suitable in textile and drying uh, uh, and dyeing industry. Whereas the priority of CMC is synthesized from the ASTM method, the priority achieved is uh, ranging from uh, 95 to 96% and can be graded as semi purified and also can be incorporated in the textile and dyeing industry as well as paint industry as a thickened agent. The other important parameter for the CMC is the viscosity which determine the industrial use. Uh, the viscosity provided information for flow uh, characteristic of the fluid flow involved uh, in processing operation and products uh, using different concentration of CMC. Currently, uh, commercial CMC with high viscosity uh, types are prepared from high viscosity cotton linters and medium viscosity types are prepared from wood pulp and uh, from, uh, from wood pulp of a specified viscosity. As for the study, the CMC synthesized from chlorine free extraction cellulose and ASTM method cellulose can be categorized in low medium viscosity having uh, 100 to 200 centipoise uh, and also 2300 to 2700 centipoise, uh, respectively, in which uh, the values of viscosity as well as purity were found to be within the range of the red circle and they are suitable to be used in textile, paint and detergent industry. As for conclusion, uh, CMCs are successfully synthesized from OPT cellulose um, that extracted from two different methods which are chlorine-free method and STM method. 
and then the quality of uh, CMC is influenced by the cellulose extraction method. Then the industrial uh, use of CMC is highly dependent on its purity and viscosity. And last but not least, the CMC produced is potentially used in textile, paint, and detergent industries. Um, this palm based CMC has, um, has a huge potential to meet future demand for green chemicals uh, since uh, it is uh, produced from renewable resources and it is uh, sustainable. And uh, furthermore, uh, this product will increase the value of agricultural waste. With that, uh, I end my presentation with thank you and thanks for your attention.